Hey, what's up? MGZ here. Today's video is mainly for my Hackintosh users as the original Mac users won't have any problems installing this. Uh, but today I will be showing you how to upgrade to 10.7.2. It's uh, fairly simple. Nothing too hard. You don't have to really do any work, especially if uh, all your kext work out of the box. Uh, what you want to do is come over to software update and mine isn't going to show but when you click on it and it finishes loading it's going to say there is a 10.7.2 update that needs to be done uh, if you want it, it at least worked for me you can just run it straight from inside of here or if you feel that won't work for you you can uh, run the OS X line update 10.7.2 client combo if uh, you feel that's much more safe now once you install and you reboot you want to come into system preferences and you'll notice under internet and wireless settings you have an iCloud button once you click on that you can check mark anything that you want to be backed up uh, this is stuff that can be backed up from your Hackintosh or your Mac onto your iOS device, whether it's an iPad or an iPod Touch or an iPhone 4, 4S. I believe the iPhone 3GS also works too. Uh, this way you'll be able to keep all your machines in sync with each other and you won't lose any data if something goes wrong with uh, one machine or another. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. I mean, it takes about 10-15 mm, minutes. Initially it took me a couple hours because everybody was trying to download it, but uh, now that it's been out for, I think, maybe almost a week now, it should take about 10 minutes to download on a, uh, you know, a good, good speedy internet source. Can't think today. Oh, well. But that's what I wanted to show you today. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Peace.